Maisy, Charlie and the Wobbly Tooth by Lucy Cousins One day Charlie had a wobbly tooth. He was a little frightened, but Maisy said he should go to see Dr. Bitright, the dentist. He is ever so nice, Maisy said. Everyone went with Charlie. There was lots to do in the waiting room. Charlie was beginning to think having a wobbly tooth was okay. Dr. Bitright was really nice, just as Maisie had said. He showed Charlie his special dentist chair. It went up, down, round and round and right back like a bed. Charlie had to open his mouth as wide as he could. So Dr. Bitright could look inside. My, Charlie, what a lot of teeth you have. But what good teeth. Dr. Bitright said Charlie shouldn't worry. The wobbly tooth was a baby tooth, ready to fall out. A new one would grow in its place. Then Nurse Sparkle took an x-ray photo of Charlie's teeth. Smile, Charlie. And Charlie and Maisie learned how to brush their teeth, up and down, front and back, front back, up down, until his teeth were dazzling. Dr. Bitright gave Charlie a smiley badge and a book about teeth. And Charlie wibbled his wobbly tooth all the way home. So Charlie wrapped it in tissue, tucked it under his pillow and waited for the Tooth Fairy to come. Maisie Goes on Holiday by Lucy Cousins The holidays have come at last. Ooh, how exciting! Maisie is packing her blue bag to go to the seaside. Sun hat, camera, books, what else will she need? Maisie is taking the train and Cyril is coming too. There he is buying the tickets. The station is so busy today. Puff, puff! The train pulls away from the platform. Maisie does some coloring. Cyril chooses some snacks. Everyone looks for their tickets when the conductor comes. Look, nearly there. Can you see the sea? At the hotel, Maisie and Panda bounce on the bed. Then it's time to unpack and go to the beach. Splash! Maisie loves to go right in. Splish! Cyril likes to paddle. There is so much to do on the beach. Collect shells, build castles, run about and play for hours and hours. At the beach cafe, Maisie has an ice cream and Cyril has a fruit juice special. Then they write postcards. Cyril writes to Charlie. Maisie writes to her friend Dottie. Our first day at the seaside was lovely, she tells her. And it's lovely staying in the hotel. Sleep well, Maisie. Sleep well, Cyril. Have a happy holiday. Maisie goes to the museum. 
by Lucy Cousins. One rainy day, Maisie went to the museum with her friends. They all liked the museum very much. First, everyone wanted to see the dinosaur. What enormous bones! And look at the fossilized dinosaur's egg. In the transport section, Charlie loved the vintage car and the penny farthing bicycle and the double decker bus. What a wonderful old biplane! And look here a satellite and a rocket. Maisie imagines being an astronaut and flying to the moon with Panda. Everyone enjoyed the old toys. Taluna's favorite was the grand doll's house with all its tiny furniture. In the National History section, Maisie and Charlie marveled at the brightly colored birds. Talula inspected the insects. Several made friends with the saber-toothed tiger. And Eddie looked and looked at the dear old woolly mammoth. There is so much to see and do at the museum. You can draw, play with puppets, make music, and dress up in the costume room. Maisie dressed up as an Egyptian. Cyril was a knight. Look at his shining armor. Now it's time to visit the food section, Charlie said. So they went to the museum cafe and had delicious cakes and refreshing drinks. There is always something new to see at the museum, Maisie said on the way home. And there is always something old to see, said Eddie. Maisie Goes to Hospital by Lucy Cousins One day Maisie was bouncing on her trampoline. She bounced very high. Oh no! Maisie fell. She hurt her leg. Poor Maisie. Charlie went with Maisie to the hospital. Maisie had never been to hospital before. You need to have an x-ray, Dr. Duck told Maisie. The x-ray showed that Maisie had broken her leg. Dr. Duck put a plaster cast on Maisie's leg. You will need to stay in hospital tonight. Nurse Comfort put Maisie to bed in the children's ward. Maisie's leg was raised in a special lift. It felt strange being away from home. Maisie missed her friends. Hello, my name is Dotty, said the patient in the opposite bed. I am Maisie. Maisie and Dotty swapped toys. The next morning during visiting hours, Talula and Cyril arrived. Maisie shared her balloons and cakes with Dottie. When it was time to go, Talula signed Maisie's plaster cast. You can go home now, Maisie, said Dr. Duck. But no trampolining yet. Come back in a few weeks to have the cast taken off. Before Maisie left, Nurse Comfort showed her how to walk using crutches. Charlie arrived to take Maisie home. Goodbye, Dotty, Maisie said to her new friend. Get well soon.
Maisie goes on a sleepover by Lucy Cousins. Talula gave Maisie a letter at the playground. It was an invitation to a sleepover. Maisie accepted at once, even though she had never been on a sleepover before. Maisie started packing. She would need lots of things. Pajamas, toothbrush, a sleeping bag, clean clothes for the morning. What else? Panda would come too. Ooh, how exciting! Maisie and Panda went to Talula's house. Welcome, Talula said. Come inside and meet my new friend Ella. Maisie and Panda liked Ella straight away. Ella had been on a sleepover before and she wasn't shy at all. They played together and everyone talked and talked about all sorts of things. Talula put on some music and Ella did a dance which made everyone laugh. So then they all tried it. They called it Ella's Wriggle and Roll. Now it was time for Talula's special sleepover supper. There were sandwiches, cupcakes, fruit and ice cream to finish. Ooh, it was delicious. Afterwards they played games, skipping and chasing, hide and seek and exploring. It was strange getting ready for bed in Talula's house. They snuggled all the bedding up close together. Ella made them laugh again by bouncing on the bed. They put on their night clothes and went to the bathroom one after the other. Maisie read everyone a bedtime story, but no one went to sleep. They kept on laughing and talking for ages. Maisie told Panda she thought sleepovers were really good fun and perhaps next time she would invite everyone to her house. At last, everyone fell asleep. Good night, Maisie. Good night, Panda. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. See you in the morning. Maisie Goes to the City by Lucy Cousins Maisie and Charlie have come to visit Dottie for the weekend. Welcome to the city. Dottie calls. She has just moved here. The road outside is really busy. Vroom, vroom, peep. What a lot of traffic and what giant buildings. The streets are crowded, so you have to walk quite slowly. There are lots and lots of shops. Come and see the toy shop, Dotty says. It's huge. When the signal goes green, it's safe to cross. The store is full of shoppers. Charlie likes the escalators. Maisie likes the lifts. The toys are fabulous. Charlie wants to buy them all. Maisie sees one to give Dottie as a present. She pays for it but oh dear, where are the others now? Are you lost? Suddenly Maisie wishes she was safe at home. Peacock makes an announcement on the intercom. There you are, Maisie. Dottie holds her friend's hand tightly. Time to eat. Dottie brings them to a cafe in a square. A busker plays music and the friends share a pizza. Afterwards, they play. Even the park is busy in the city. To get to Dottie's flat, they need to take an underground train. Our stop is on the blue line, Dottie says. 
It's a squash in the carriage. Hang on tight, everyone. It has been a lovely day, says Charlie. Thank you for having us to stay, says Maisie. It's nearly dark, the stars are shining. The city lights are bright and busy too. They will go twinkle, twinkle, twinkle all night long. Maisie Goes to Nursery by Lucy Cousins Today was a very good day for Maisie because she went to nursery. There is always so much to do at nursery and so many friends to see. First, Maisie hung her coat on her own special peg with her name on it. Hello, Dotty, she said. Hello, Maisie, said Dotty. Look, Cyril must be here too and Talula. Good morning, Maisie and Dotty, said Mr. Peacock. We are starting with painting today. What brilliant paintings! Mr. Peacock helped put them up on the wall. That's my new house, Maisie said. And that's Maisie and me dancing, said Dotty. At eleven cents, they had drinks, biscuits and fruit. Thank you very, very, very much, Talula said. Oh, yummy, scrummy. Maisie and Dotty went to the little toilets. Talula reminded them to wash their hands. Book time, called Mr. Peacock. Gather round, everybody. They all sat together and listened quietly to the story. Once upon a time. Then it was quiet time. Everybody fetched their blankets and snuggled down for a nap. Then came a noisy time. Maisie played the guitar, Dotty played the drums. Everyone played something and joined in for a sing-song. Out in the garden, everyone got busy digging in the sandpit, playing with the ball, driving the toy car. Skipping, dancing, playing on the seesaw. Oh, how busy they all were until it was time to go home. Maisie really likes nursery. Goodbye, Dotty. Goodbye, Maisie. Goodbye, Mr. Peacock. What a very good day. Maisie Goes to the Library by Lucy Cousins Maisie likes going to the library. How lovely to look at a book in a nice, quiet place. It was the sort of day when Maisie wanted a book about fish. She found a flappy book about birds but no fish. She found a shiny green book about turtles and a great big stripy book about tigers, but no fish. Never mind, there are so many other things to do in the library. Use the computer, listen to music, make a copy of your favorite picture, look at the fish in the aquarium. Aquarium? That's it! So Maisie looked by the aquarium. And that's exactly where she found a book about fish. And it was a sparkly. Maisie settled down to read in a quiet corner. But then Cyril and Talula came along. And started laughing at Talula's funny face. And then Eddie came in. And shouted, Story time! because Ostrich was going to tell a story in the story corner. 
Maisie's Quiet Corner There was an old woman who swallowed a fly. Charlie started laughing. She swallowed a dog to catch the cat. Then everyone started laughing. Woof woof. Meow. Ha <laughs> And they were still laughing when they checked out their books and went outside to play. In the park Cyril and Charlie pretended to be the old woman and her dog. Talula mewed like a cat and Eddie neighed like a horse. And Maisie Maisie read her sparkly book about fish in a nice quiet place.